What's up, folks? Your boy Pablo in the building. So this gonna be this gonna be a full duel. Now I'm gonna explain to you what's gonna happen here. Now I know you guys, you know, like to see Sylvans, but it seems like you guys like to see the dirty stuff. So this is probably this is probably as dirty as you gonna get. So I'm gonna put it like this: Bujins versus Ghostrix is like the worst matchup for Bujins ever. So like I don't know why. I think Ghost Tricks like eradicate like passive decks. It eradicates them. So So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start setting up for the lockdown. And the card that I might be taking out of this deck is probably Ghost Trick Panic, because Ghost Trick Panic I mean it's good, but but my opponent never attacks, which is fine, but at the same time do I take full damage and and I don't play enough protection cards in this build to fully utilize this card. Now, now if I were to play Jack Frost in this build, which I am going to do when I bump up the card rate, but due to the fact that Death Pro is having error problems, like when like when you see um Doll does her effect, the game completely glitches. So. That's something I have to say out there like that. That's the reason why like my video making for the new stuff is pretty slow. It's only because if I activate charity, it's going to get an error occur. If I activate fairy lotus, it's going to get it's going to get an error occur. I don't know what's wrong with that. So, so they need to like so if you if you are one of the dev pro you know administrators or you know the devs who, who watches this video, I'm gonna say like this. You guys need to fix, well, not fix, but yeah, yeah. What the hell I'm saying? Yeah, you guys need to fix this thing because um, you guys are slowing me down, and it sucks because you know I like to, you know, I like to give my viewers, you know, full actions of the duels that I've been through. So, anywho, let's get into the match. So I got this man under the the face down lock. The you cannot flip or you cannot put Yu Gi Oh lock. So I'm going with my alternative win condition. Because parade is slowing me down as usual, but then again, you know, you have skeleton who's just gonna keep hurting your opponent. And if you don't know the lock, it's cat and knight. Every single time they make, a, every single time when they make a summon, yes, a summon, it's going face down, face down ass position. Yes, ass position. So skeleton is gonna keep, is gonna keep banishing all his cards to the grave. And right now, I don't know what he's gonna do because he's in he's in such a terrible situation. And when he finally gets rid of the knight, he does you know he's gonna try to capitalize on this, but you'll see what happens. You know, he gets rid of my ghost trick, my ghost trick go around, which was pretty good. But then again, he can't attack, so so him like setting up for like crazy stuff like that, that was that was unnecessary. And that right there put him in a really bad situation. So he's gonna put he's gonna do a little feather, he's gonna go for Yamato, Yamato Turtle, but he does not realize that this is already game. He gave me so much advantage that I could just shut down everything you have. Even though know, I play a one of Swords Kissil and Light. It's like it's still it's still a good it's still a good one of, but I don't know, I might put it too. So I put his monster face down, flip flip, and get the skeleton. Hit him for five cards. He, Josh is gonna flip face down. And I'm gonna put everyone face down, and right there, it's like, what can you do? So you know, let's let's take a look at let's take a look at what we hit. We hit Kasusuchi, Turtle, Hime. We hit like, ooh, we hit Solemn Warning. Damn. Hold up. Is that all three copies of Mizuzuchi? Ooh, that really sucks. Did I get a Yamato? Ooh, and I got a Yamato in here too. The chicken is great. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so this is Yamato right there. Is there a Yamato in the deck still? Oh, one Yamato in the deck. Yeah, you can't even do anything. So yeah, I mean I hate showing you know dirty stuff, but same time though is that. When people diss ghost tricks, this is what ghost tricks are supposed to do. They're supposed to lock you down. They're supposed they're, they're supposed to make sure that you cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh. 
it's supposed to be unfair. And then on top of that, on top of that being so dirty, so you know, you probably you guys are probably just laughing your asses off. Tap, Robin Goblin, Robin Goblin. We're taking we're taking both of those cards out of his hand. And right there, we just put him in a terrible situation. He cannot do anything. There is no way for you to come back. And that right there, that is as as dangerous. This is this is ghost tricks. This is the ghost tricks that that you players been dissing on for a minute. And you know, even though I haven't seen Silent Enigma, you know, do any videos upon ghost tricks, so I just took it upon myself to show show it to you guys. So like, comment, and subscribe. I might do a bonus video. Who knows? Keep it, keep it, keep. It. All right. So I know that you guys still love Fire Fist, so this would be a bonus video of this. So this would be against plus one Fire Fist. I know we all hate. We, well, I don't, well, I don't like this deck because this deck it has so much advantage. It annoys me. So now, if I remember this duel exactly as it is. He ha he opens pretty good. He has the Valor. He tries to beat me out with back row. Even though it was just fake back row, but it's fine with me. So he's gonna summon that gorilla, you know, go for some for a safe play. Goes for probably duality, gets wolf bark for free. I'm gonna add to a skill prison there to you know to keep him guessing. Keep him guessing and see if I could force him to waste more resources. And you know, he had real Yoko, which is fine with me. And then he attacks the wrong monster. If he knew I didn't have any other bad girl, why didn't you just take the challenge of just going in and just lancing my monster? But because he didn't do that, he just took a guess, which was a terrible guess. Now I get a free hit. I get a free hit. I get a free tanky. A free tanky now in this Fire Fist Mirror match. I came from being in a bad situation to a good situation now. I'm gonna get tanking because no one plus one fire fist, it can't deal with high high power monsters. All when you see a high power monster in this deck, it's all about oh Yoku. I mean not Yoku, bear, 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 and more bears. So he goes for another he goes for another MSC if I if I was paying attention correctly. Then he does another terrible mistake. He knew I had tanking. He knew it. So he's gonna go for the Lance on Bear. Lance on Bear is gonna get he's gonna get a free tensu. Free tensu and I'm still I'm still in a good position, actually. Because you know and hold up. Let me check something. He had Gorilla and Grave. Why didn't he use Wolf Park? I don't remember that. But yeah, he didn't even use Wolf Park. So I mean, he sounds leopard, which didn't hurt me at all because I had you no know, I had dragon. I don't know why. Why did I go for the? Huh? Why did I do that? Oh, I guess. But yeah, he could have. He could have. Oh, that's right. Part of duality. He couldn't special summon. That's why. Ah. So top this tanky like a boss. He just summoned, he just summoned Wolf Bart, trying to go for either, if I remember exactly, the Tire King, yeah. Which really does nothing because you're in a plus one five is that you don't play any special formation traps. Which really does nothing for him because, see, if you would have, if you would have had, if you would have played like Dragon or, um, I don't know, probably just something, like something that's better than Wolf Bart in this situation. <coughs> but because of that, I get to style on him. So I'm gonna go for a sat on night, blow up his field, leave him with nothing. I know it's a dirty, it's a dirty move, dirty setup, but I didn't want to deal with another tanky from going off. <laughs> he freaking draws in the finish chain. So I got him on the ropes. He just started, you know, activating his resources. To try to keep, you know, from keeping him alive, I'm gonna set boar face down because I don't know if he talks just like bear or anything like that. It's gonna screw me over. He summons a card card D. I was like, no. Bill says no. So, and again, I'm still, I'm still in a good lead. Still got advantage. I'm going to, I'm going to proceed to kill him. Somehow, 
because right now, I mean, I don't think I don't think Post One Fire Fist doesn't have they don't have a good they don't have a good um comeback system. And you see, look at that, Baylor, yeah, deck has no has no good comeback system whatsoever. Like I said before, that's why and that's why I tell you folks, you take away Dragon, you take away you take away all these other good cards in the deck. What's left in your deck? And did I summon a wolf card? Oh no. I was just being smart. Yeah, I was like, yep. Yep. And that's and that's all she rolls right there. So like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Young Breezy. Shout out to Black Arts. Shout outs to Darwin. And um shout out to Sport of Night. And I'll see y'all boys and girls later. And shout out to Joe Joe Grease too from Team Avalanche. Ciao.